What's up, everyone? Tedrick85 here, and you know what day today is. Today is Wii Wednesday, and I'm going to be continuing on with Nintendo Land today because I cannot believe the monstrous uh, reception that my first Nintendo Land video got. I mean, you guys showed it an awful lot of love, and it just seems right that I do this Wii Wednesday, this week's Wii Wednesday on Nintendo Land as well. So without further ado... By the way, hopefully you guys have a good Wednesday, and hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing me get my butt handed to me by uh, Ghosts and Goblins and Super Ghouls and Ghosts in the, in the video earlier today. Okay, place the gamepad on a flat surface and keep it motionless. Oh, no, 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 I no, I don't want that. No. No. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, how was I gonna get down? I almost got hit by the train. Now, for those of you that watched my uh, previous video, knows about the different areas here. Some areas I can play and some that I can't because there's only certain games that are one player and certain ones that are not. You can see there's Pikmin, there's Qbert. There's Zelda, there's a Yoshi game. But the game I'm going to be playing first here is going to be the Balloon Fight game. Hopefully I'll be able to play it. Balloon Trip Breeze. Float with the wind. Okay, let's see what this says. Hopefully I'll be able to play it. Select my me. And this game's inspired by Balloon Pop. Slide to make a breeze blow. It's pretty cool. I need to I need to wipe off my uh Okay, let's see how to play first. Day one, morning. Before you set out on your voyage, I'll take you through the basics. To make a breeze blow, slide the stylus or your finger on the touch screen. The wind will propel you in the direction that you slide. First, just try to get a feel for flying. Oh, that's cool! It makes no difference where on the screen you slide. So don't worry about looking at the gamepad. Now then, keep your eyes on the TV and focus on collecting all the balloons. Okay. Nice Except for that last one, that was a bit cringy. You can tap on the touch screen to create a small shock wave. These tiny shock waves can destroy objects that stand in your way. Try tapping on blocks to destroy them with a the shock wave. Focus on the TV and glance occasionally at the game pad. Yeah, that's what I had to do there. Okay, you're ready for takeoff. Good luck. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I need to wipe off my game pad. It's a little bit dirty. Slide on the thing to make a breeze. Nice. Day one afternoon. Yeah, I've never played this game before, so you, you, I'm experiencing a first here with you guys. Don't ask me why I've never played this game before, but I haven't. Oh, whoa, 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 get away from me. 
Oops. Oh, uh-oh. I got two lives. Oh, I'm supposed to... There we go. So it's like regular balloon paw. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think about that, but... Hey, I'm, I'm learning. Slide to make a breeze. Okay, day one evening. The effects in this game kind of remind me of Wooly World a little bit with the, um, fabric. Whoa, 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 okay. Okay, what's... Nice! I gotta say, this is pretty neat, and I should say that I'm not using my finger, I'm just using the, uh, the, um, stylus that comes with the gamepad. Get some points for pocket bubbles. Uh-oh, oops. And I reached a goal here. So apparently you go through each day and then go through the phases of the day and then just... Okay, now we're on nighttime. Yeah, this is just like Balloon Pop, but a bit cooler since it's not just a controller that you use, you actually get to use a gamepad here. Whoa, how did I avoid that? How did I avoid that? Okay, now they're electrified. Nice. Was that an invincibility thing? Because I just went through that one... ...spike. Can I reach the goal? Okay, day two, morning. And it's still raining. Nice. Okay, it's still raining on day two. Okay, you see rainbow here? Look at all the bubbles! Look at all the bubbles! I, now I sound like a fish on Finding Nemo. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. This is a fun game! I'm, I'm, I'm very happy about this game. I can't believe I've never played this before. Slide on to make a breeze. Don't worry, I will be playing another game besides this. I'm just waiting until I'm done with all my lives. Focus here. We're in the afternoon now. As you guys can probably already see. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Oops. I got a little bit greedy there. I, I have no idea what that was. If I can make it to day three, I'll be happy. There we go. Roll bone. Okay. I did try to get on top. It just wouldn't let me go on top. I'm not sure what the secret is there. Okay, there's evening. If I can make it to day three, I think I'll call it. Oh, we got wind. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gotta fight against the wind. If 
right against the wind. Oh, holy heck. Okay, I think I found a sweet spot here. No, no, no. Let me get to the top. No. Well, whatever. Gold bonus, 30 points. I wish I would have realized that earlier. But anyway, we're on the nighttime. The wind is... Well, wind is gone. Oh, there's spikes up there. Holy heck. Okay. Oh! There's one balloon. Oh, crap. Game over. I could not make it to day three, but you know what? I had fun with that, and I got 553 points for my efforts. Could have been a lot more if I would have realized the, the, uh, the goal area, me getting extra points there, but... There you go. That is... I got a bronze trophy. That's not bad. I'll, de I'll definitely take that. Almost fish food. <laughs> Touch the huge monitor at the top of the central tower to play the coin game. You could win amazing prizes. Oh, you'll be posting... No, I... No. Yeah, the Miiverse doesn't exist anymore, unfortunately. See, once again, I didn't... Am I at max coins? Uh, is that all the coins I can get is 500? I know I probably sound like an idiot, but I think I capped off the number of coins I can get. But anyway, like I said, I did want to play another game, and I think... For here, which... I wish I could play the Mario game, but I think that's at least two players. Let me, let me look at the menu here real quick. Yeah, competitive attractions. Yeah, I'm I'm only gonna be able to play the Mario game, the Luigi's uh, Mansion game, and the Animal Crossing game are off limit just because, like I said, I'm only one person. But everything else, you can see Zelda, Pikmin, Metroid, Yoshi, Cubert, uh, Donkey Kong, and the other three games are, are all one player. But I'm gonna go ahead and go to see if I can find the Zelda game here real quick. Legend of Zelda Battle Quest. And I am gonna need the nunchuck and the controller for this one. Okay, do I quest or time attack? I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and try out both. I'm gonna try a level out on quest, and I'm gonna go to uh, uh, time attack. And I'm gonna play as the swordsman here. Remove the extension controller from the Wii remote. In other words, take the nunchuck off. Got it. Calibrating the Wii remote and the gamepad at the same time. And that is my me. Um, conditions for Master Rank. Finish without taking damage. Finish without taking damage. Finish without taking damage. And... That's all the further I got. Road to the Goron Mines. No, I don't want to... Do that. You get Grass Land Temple. You got Lost Words. And you get Grass Land... I'm gonna keep it simple and just go to Grasslands. The Hold the Wii Remote upright. B is to raise the shield. Which is going to be important. Needless to say. While playing, ensure that the wrist strap is attached correctly. Keep a firm grip on the Wii Remote and stay aware of your surroundings. I never use the strap. I just... I just don't like how it feels. It just feels uncomfortable.
Okay, let's look at some of the stuff here. A hundred rupees, a thousand rupees, Triforce Collector, Questmaster, and Legendary Hero. And like the Metroid game, you're pretty much set out here and you get to destroy all the enemies. Cool thing is I get to wave this Get to wave this around like a maniac, which I think is pretty cool. Now, if you if you play as the archer, you'll get some targets that you have to shoot in order to open up that door. Oh, you can power up your sword too, like that. If you hold it back like this, you power. If you hold the we, if, if you pull the Wii remote back, you actually charge up your sword, and you can uh, get a powerful attack. I I just remembered that just now. Okay, combo 50 hits. I don't remember what my highest combo is. Okay, we get a group of enemies here that we have to get. There we go! And we get a piece of the Triforce. Well, not just a piece, we do get it. We get a whole Triforce for our efforts. As you can see there, we've already mastered this stage. Okay, quest results, 42 rupees, zero hearts lost, 34 enemies beaten, and 54 hit combo. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and continue playing, and we're gonna go. We're gonna do the time attack here, which means I think I have to go out and then go back. In. Yeah, I have to go back out and go back in. I think it go in here. Okay, now we're gonna try time attack. I don't think I've tried this. I could be wrong, but I don't remember. Okay, look at the game. Look, why is it telling me? Look, okay. Hold on. Okay, beginner, defeat 25 enemies. Yeah, I haven't played this, so this is going to be new to me. And I think I do need, okay, change direction and an R is to shoot the arrow. And the A is to look around. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Okay, I have to look at the gamepad. Okay, let me just get a feel of what I have to do here. If you get hit by enemies six times, your game is over. That concludes my explanation.
This is gonna be weird. See, I'm not used. Uh, this is this. This feels weird. I'm not gonna lie. This feels really weird. I'm not sure if I'm liking this or not. Yeah, I. That's just not gonna be my game. I. It's. I don't know why it couldn't have been set up like the other one, and I only lasted 46 seconds, which isn't that great. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I did not enjoy Time Attack, which it, it just feels weird using the gamepad for that one. I'm going to go ahead and quit. I was going to end there, but I am going to try another game. And I just got to go to the other side of the, uh, the plaza here. Hopefully I can make it without getting hit by the train. And I do want to try the Donkey Kong one. Donkey Kong's Crash Course Full Tilt Obstacle Course. I think I may have played this one before. I'm not sure. And what the heck? Tilt carefully to travel through the course. Seems to me that I have... Okay, I think I did play this before. Maybe not. Welcome to Donkey Kong's Crash Course. In this attraction, you move by tilting the gamepad left and right. Your goal is to make your way safely to the end of the obstacle course. If you hit anything at high speed, land on your head, or otherwise tragically explode, you'll lose a life. <laughs> Let's start off with the practice run. Now, hold the gamepad securely with both hands. Okay. Hold the gamepad as shown. Makes sense to me. Now, I'm real tiny the way you guys are looking at me, but here I'm actually at a decent size. Press R, press L, and press R. Oh! Okay. Well done. That concludes your practice run. Did you familiarize yourself with steering? Hmm. Okay, away you go. I'll try a level out before I end this video. Okay, there's Pauline. Wow, okay. Could you hear the music? I don't know if there's an ex a certain amount of time I have to do this, but I, I did just notice the timer. Okay, just gotta be careful here. I don't wanna go too fast, but I don't wanna be too slow either. Uh oh. Aw, oh, heck! What happened there? <sighs> oh. Pushing the wrong button. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What was I supposed to do there? And I'm all... What am I supposed to do?
Oh, there we go. Be brave, okay. Oh, and I just absolutely crashed. I went a little bit too fast there. Come on! But anyway, I got 747 points. That's not too bad. I don't get a trophy, obviously, because I didn't get the Pauline. Perfect to area two. That's not too bad. I'll take that for my first time playing that. Yeah, it looks like Pauline's gonna have to wait another day before she becomes mayor, unfortunately, but... But I, I tell you what, I'm, I'm really liking playing Nintendo Land, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as you enjoyed the last one, where I got to play uh, mini games and that, and I'm not sure what I'm going to be playing next time, which more than likely next Wednesday I'll be continuing with this uh, game on Wii Wednesday, so hopefully you guys are up for that. Thank you guys so much for watching this, hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'll be seeing you guys again next... I'll be, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys again next time. <laughs> Sorry about that outro. But yeah, hopefully, like I said, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm not sure what games I'm going to be playing next. I might I might try the Yoshi game and the Pikmin game, but I'm not sure yet. But um, anyway, like I said, thank you guys so much again for watching this. And I'll see you guys again next week.